Hi and welcome, I'm Tom, your host, and this is the Dropcast Movie Poster Podcast Release Edition. This format is part of the Instagram blog Drop, and you can find us under at DropMakeOfficial. We do reviews, news, and interviews that all have to do with the film business. Our headline this week is an up-and-coming illustrator and graphic designer from France. He already created some very cool artwork, and he hit my soft spot with this Mando Mondays print for Bottleneck Gallery of IG-11 and Grogu. Yeah, I said it, people. Remember the name, Melvin Magoo. Um, he's going to be, uh, you're going to find him on Instagram, MLVNMG. Uh, so check him out. And stay tuned or head over to our Instagram profile at Dropback Official to follow along with the art we are talking about or check us out on YouTube for the video version. So now, welcome, Melvin. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Uh, thanks for asking, Tom. Uh, what about you? I can't complain. Um, I, we talked about a little bit in the office. I had, I had a long day at the, at the, at the office, yeah. <laughs> basically. Yeah, that's what you said. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but uh, I'm here. I record the releases beforehand, and now you're the only part that is missing. And I'm looking forward to talking about your wonderful uh, piece of IG11 and the child. I'm gonna pull this up for everybody to see now uh, who haven't seen it yet. Um, here is the regular edition of the poster, and then there's also a variant edition of the poster, which is my favorite. I have to say, um, how how this like. How how was the how are I'm sorry how are the dimensions and the addition of the print? Can you talk us? Uh, so it's a medium sized poster. Uh, it's an 18 per 24. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't want it to go for something uh, way too bigger, you know, uh, because uh, because of the subjects. Uh, when I have to uh, choose because between the dimension of the poster, I always uh, look for what the, the details, the, all that kind of things before uh, what I'm gonna, um, which size I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose. But um, yeah, medium size poster, uh, it's like uh, five colors, mm -hmm. uh, six screens, there's an extra screen to better accommodate with the two patients. Yeah, we, we're going to look at that in a second yeah. uh, on the way how you yeah. create it. But um, how did you get in touch with Botanic? How, how did this, um, this happen, this idea? Actually, uh, I was in contact with them uh, way before uh, this first release for uh, other Star Wars stuff. Like, uh, I think I was in contact with them uh, since uh, I said last year. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the, the first season uh, aired yeah. in the, at the end of the, the last year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as many, I was very enjoyed uh, with this first season. And uh, also, I got a very strong appeal for the uh, for IG11. Actually, uh, you know, when I was um, like maybe 11 or 12, my uh, my uh, father offered me for my birthday a mini uh, bust of uh, mini uh, gentle giant bust mm -hmm. uh, of uh, IG88. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I, I got the background of that droid. You know, yeah. even if not the same one, but uh, it's the IG uh, unit. Yeah. Did, so, did you love the portray of uh, Taika Waititi doing it? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, he did a great job. And uh, even uh, what they did uh, with the CGI uh, to uh, animate it uh, was a really, really strong job. Yeah, uh, yeah I know it's uh, half, um, half uh, physical. Yeah. They got, a, they got a real prop of the, the droid. I got a picture. <laughs> And uh, it's also half CGI, but uh, um, for most part of the action scene, it's uh, all about CGI. But uh, that's really impressive because we got a really f uh, a, f a feeling which is uh, really, um, I would say, uh, realistic, you know, mm. because uh, the, the, the way he's moving, uh, that's, uh, that's really impressive. And uh, especially uh, Olesen is, uh, is fighting uh, Haran, is, uh, I mean, he's a... Uh, He's trolling around with his blaster. That's uh, mm -hmm. that's some uh, key scenes uh, in the first season, I think. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. I was wondering because you gave me a very cool uh, a work in progress images, which like really helped to walk us through the process. Um, I, w I wanted to start out with the line art. Is it, is that the first step you did, or uh, what? What was the first step? Uh, actually, uh, as I said to you, I didn't uh, made any uh, concept art. Huh? Okay. Uh, I know it's pretty unusual, but uh, I uh, most of the time don't work with uh, concept art. I got uh, everything uh, already in my head. 
and uh, I know exactly what I want to to do uh, with the with the posters. Uh, actually, um, I'd say uh, I never encounter such cases where I need to concept half myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, if I do them, it's uh, it's to sell the the concept, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, well, I wanted to do uh, to do this um, to to present this uh, represent this uh, this trade, mm -hmm. but uh, not not in. A, I say I, I always to always try to be a, some kind of outside of the box. So I try to do a, a character poster, you know, just depicting the character in the, in the poster with no additional details, no no more characters or what. Mm. So uh, I went on a minimal 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 approach. Yeah. Uh, with uh, only the droid first. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I did uh, with the line art, um, so one thing I'm always doing for a studying poster is uh, taking a lot of time choosing the perfect angle, the point of view, how many vanishing, vanishing point I'm going to put and where, because uh, you know all these elements, uh, they will create specific uh, dynamic in the composition. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also uh, all about balance to get something the most pleasing to the eye. And uh, what's interesting with this uh, idea, uh, the, the choose I made, is to uh, not bring uh, any vanishing points at all. And uh, in turn, there's no perspective, uh, strictly speaking, you know. There's only uh, just a straight line, horizontal and vertical line, uh, as you can see, mm -hmm. on, the, uh, on the line art. I'm just going to get the line art. Yeah. yeah. And it um, does it, that, yeah. that was it the, the, the point where you... Um, you had the, you had this kind of the line art before and then made the composition or was there was the composition or in your head already and that you had to to follow up with the line art well uh, actually i use uh, many steel uh, steels from uh, from the show mm -hmm. with the uh, the ig so i have to um, to choose to choose the, the the perfect position to uh, better encapsulate my my concept and my, my vision, you know I wanted to to keep those uh, spaghetti western vibes, you know. So he's got uh, in and he's uh, holding his blaster in the air and uh, with the the other hand uh, is uh, you got the, the smoke uh, coming yeah, through the, the smoking barrel. gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's uh, the kind of uh, imagery I wanted to to keep on this uh, on this poster. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, I went with this uh, the, the position, and also you know the the, the modular side of the of the droid, the the, the way he moves. So that's that's one thing I wanted to uh, to keep. So that's why uh, there's some kind of uh, robotic yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. position, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Um, yeah. you also you made the title the title treatment you did yourself basically, yeah, because uh, you gave me some the, the the title artwork for that. Is it is it? Did you do a whole alphabet or was it just? No, no, it was just for the title. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, so let's jump on the title if you want. Uh, I went for uh, I first went uh, on different approach as you may uh, as you may see there's some uh, uh, many uh, many 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 tries. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was uh, messing around uh, with, the, uh, with the typography, so I've created some vector characters for the uh, for the background, because uh, as uh, I think we're gonna see after, uh, I went uh, first with something different for the background, more graphic uh, designer yeah. inspired stuff. So yeah, my, my first idea was to to do something uh, I say uh, a bit futuristic for the for the leaders. Was it? Um, quick question. Was it because you have in the in the test image we can see the child, uh, like him holding a child, and uh, was that was that first off was it planned just to do IG eleven or was it always the plan to put the child in? Quick um, question. Uh, I'd say uh, my first hope was uh, only to do uh, IG, but the, the idea to include uh, Grogu mm -hmm. uh, went uh, naturally. Because uh, you yeah. know, uh, uh, for for obvious reasons, you know. Mm. Uh, so yeah, um, on the on different uh, different uh, version I sent you, you know, that's uh, that's one of the boundaries. Mm -hmm. That's one of the child. 
because uh, uh, at first the the idea was to to do um, an assassin version and a nurse version. Mm -hmm. But uh, we uh, eventually uh, went for uh, featuring Grogu uh, on both versions. Okay. And I think that's uh, that's the best choice to, yeah. to offer in, uh, in both. Yeah. I think so too. And um, you, as you said, you, you mentioned you changed the background. We saw it already. Um, did you take the the background is from the from uh, not Navarro the planet Avalon Avalon Seven or Avala Seven? Uh, yeah, you should be right. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, let's talk about the, the background, the, the landscape, that's it. You're, you're on it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's a basic Avalon uh, landscape with uh, the signature building, as you may uh, have uh, on Tatooine, you know. Uh, the crate, the, the infamous moisture vapor evaporators, mm. as you have in the background. Uh, actually, I've drawn more than you can see. I draw a wall, uh, wall landscape, you know, using uh, the the characteristic uh, characteristics uh, planet, uh, yeah. part of the of the landscape. Mm -hmm. So I got my uh, all my different elements, and uh, then I was able to uh, to move them uh, to to better accommodate the, the yeah. composition. Is that is that is that was it digitally drawn because it looks so pencil y? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my, uh, Welcome. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just uh, used, uh, um, I'd say, some uh, uh, different brushes, but uh, it's actually the, the same brushes I, uh, I used for the for the droid. Oh, okay. The, they just got a uh, different uh, feeling. Yeah. So you know, to to get back on the the minimalistic uh, Heidi, mm -hmm. uh, because I wanted to get the. Um, the, the emph emphasize on the on the droid uh, i drawn a very simple background so the the wall attention is uh, focused on the on the ig mm -hmm. and the, the background is just there to uh, to put it in some place you know yeah to get the uh, the, the atmosphere you know yeah and yeah, it looks it looks really cool. I think it was uh, definitely a good choice to do it on that, uh, to to put that on there, and uh, definitely to put the baby on. I, I just pulled up the different versions of the IG that looks really cool to like have him in comparison with like basically his exposed innards, <laughs> and then yeah, with, yeah. The, with the with a uh, gun belt, uh, um, and also with the with the child in there. It looks really cool. And yeah, yeah. Um, you, you know, for a lot of artists, it's very hard to do separations. <laughs> and uh, you, did you do them yourself, or was it did the printer do that for you? Yeah, yeah, uh, all the time, all the time. Okay, that's uh, I think uh, separations are part of the artist process because uh, that that's different. When you you keep in mind, uh, are you gonna accept the? Are you gonna do the, the separation while doing the art? Mm -hmm. uh, to to me, it's um, it's an all over, you know. Drawing and drawing it and doing inspirations. Mm. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, there's uh, an extra uh, extra screen, uh, extra screen uh, that w which isn't featured mm -hmm. uh, because uh, both versions uh, require uh, the same uh, the same screens. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what more can I say about the separation? Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, so good. I mean, that's that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. You, you don't have to uh, go elaborate if you don't want to, and if you don't have anything to say. I mean, we don't we don't need to drag it up. Um, <laughs> no problem. But yeah, um, uh, what I wanted to know is, I mean, those prints uh, are really great. Uh, uh, they, uh, they have? Uh, did they sell sell out now? I think that the, the definitely the the variant sold out yesterday when I when I looked, but I didn't check beforehand. But um, I think I think it. it it should definitely. It should sell out. That's what I'm saying here. So yeah, it... variant variant was going in uh, like five minutes, yeah. and uh, the regular took uh, a tiny hour, I'd say. Yeah. How uh, how how did you how did you feel about selling out? That's cool. <laughs> no, no. I mean, uh, that's uh, that's a great accomplishment. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, seeing uh, your your stuff uh, like uh, mm -hmm. vanishing from the website. That's cool. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really, really happy that uh, so many people um, like my uh, like my take on the on the IG11. Mm-hmm. Uh, even more since uh, there's uh, no IG11 print uh, so far. Yeah, that's, that, uh, yeah exactly. I think the, so. the only one that reminded me of yours a little bit was the Mike Mitchell one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's an IG88. Uh, yeah, exactly. But, uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a great one. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, so uh, are there since since it's sold out? Are there going to be um, APs in the future? Yeah, for sure. Okay, do, uh, do you know? you know when I'm gonna get them? Uh, and I don't know either uh, how many I'm gonna okay. get uh, of uh, of each. Yeah, I hope I hope uh, I hope Joe is gonna do, uh, gonna put in put in some some good ones for you. <laughs> I do. Okay, um, so before we're gonna go, uh, the the one thing we always do here is we have a little movie review or review of the 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 show uh, we uh, talk about and the print is yeah. for and i want you to give us a little review of what you like what you did what you maybe don't like about the show and uh, how you would rate the the show so far yeah sure uh well it's uh, obviously more complicated to rate uh, a world show than a, a movie mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, yeah, I dig it. Yeah, honestly, I, I dig it. I uh, totally love the first season, and now uh, with the uh, the second season, um, uh, we are like uh, at the at the half of the second season. Uh, it's uh, really great so far. Uh, you know, I'm, even if my I'm a Star Wars fan, uh, as many of us, I'm not that much into uh, lightsabers, that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, yeah, I was very hyped when they uh, announced uh, a series uh, focused on the Mandalorian stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I know I'd say um, I I read uh, everything I'm I'm watching on IMDb. You know, mm. so uh, so I think I've rated the Mandalorian nine on ten because uh, I uh, really love it. Yeah. Um, what more can I say? Um, how did you? How did so, you so, like? Uh, we don't want to spoil anything. I mean, um, I'm recording tomorrow when the podcast is out. I will record uh, with Matt Ferguson the the bounty puck, the the the, oh. the review show. I don't know if you have seen it yet, but uh, uh, James Hobson and and I we have like every week we have a guest a uh, guest nerd that talks Where? about the episode from the previous week. And it comes out, oh, yes. and this time we're gonna have Matt Ferguson on for the last episode with uh, the Jedi. So that's cool. That's cool. So that's gonna be exciting to talk about that. How 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 did you feel about the last show, uh, last episode? Uh, the Jedi. Uh... The, don't don't spoil anything, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, well, yeah, we already talked about uh, Grogu, yeah, uh, which was uh, one of the highlight of the episode. Uh, no, it was a, a strong episode. Uh, seeing uh, that's how to spoil it. Yeah, uh, I know. But yeah, I know. Uh, but but one thing is one one thing. Uh, maybe not that spoily, but there were some droids in it, and maybe they could get some treatment in the future. I think I really like the the HK droids that we we've seen there. They looked really cool, and like uh, the the one when when he's climbing on the roof, that was nice. That was a nice touch. Yeah, 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 that was a cool, uh, cool feature. Uh, actually, uh, I, I know uh, they were part of the the Clone Wars show. Uh, there's a yeah. HK droid. Yeah. Uh, so it's a cool note to uh, seeing them uh, in the series. But uh, that TV show is all about uh, Easter eggs, uh, anyways. So. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. But it's definitely like you know, Mandalorian is. I mean, it's such a great show. So it's every Friday, he will love to sit down and watch it. And yeah, my, on, same. On, on Friday, it's my birthday, so it's gonna be very special to see a Mandalorian oh. on my birthday. Loving it already. So. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, and, and I wish you a birthday uh, by Friday, man. Thank you, thank you. Um, and yeah, so uh, this is it. I wanted uh, you to give you some some time. Maybe you want to say some some words to your fans or something like that, or. Um, I, I put uh, for everybody out there. I put uh, the Instagram of Melvin in Thank you. in, the, Thank in you. The, the the caption and everything, so you can check him out um, and leave a leave a follow. It's definitely worth it. This guy is gonna gonna do something cool in the future, Melvin. But the last words are for you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just a thought of uh, thought of um, uh, I say uh, just. Uh, 
Thank you, uh, thank you so much for getting me fe- uh, getting me featured. Of course, man. and uh, that's, a, that's a pleasure. Um, and um, yeah, um, what I have to say, uh, thanks to my fans for the the support and um, stay safe. I'd say. All right, perfect. You heard it, people. Uh, yeah, check them definitely out, as I mentioned again. And uh, we're gonna move over now to the release section. And thank you again for coming on, Melvin. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you guys over with the releases. And now we're coming over to the release part. And you already see the first artwork we're going to talk about. This is the new chapter by Pablo Oliveira. And he did this wonderful piece for Bottleneck. This is a G. Clay print. And uh, there are two different variants for it. And uh, this one is uh, uh, available 300 times. It's 18 by 24 inches. Then we have the variant edition, um, which is... A little more like bluish. Um, it's also a G clay print and was is available 150 time. And then we have my favorite of the three of those pieces, and it's this G clay print on a metallic foil with no title treatment. Love to see that because you can see in the corners the the helmets, the Scout Trooper helmets. I really enjoy uh, the ones who touch Baby uh, Baby Yoda, probably uh, AKA Grogu, as everybody knows. So. Um, yeah, seeing the TIE Fighters here in the back um, and also the Razor Crest. So that's like a really cool, nice painting. Love the, the matte kind of look on it, um, as a, at least digitally. Uh, I wonder how it looks in person. Probably wonderful because like Pablo Oliveira, he is, he's one of my favorite dudes. And shout out to you, buddy. I uh, really enjoy your artwork. It's great stuff you're doing. Yeah, and uh, there's probably more in the future with Bottleneck. So keep your eyes peeled. I uh, can't wait to get my landscapes, by the way, from Bottleneck. So um, hope they hope they're going to ship soon. And yeah, this is all part of the, the Mando Mondays. Um, we had different pieces. We're going we're gonna to dig into some more Mando later on. Um, um, I have them chronologically. So yeah, um, I'm going to dig in the, um, just, just to mention it real quick, if somebody just watches the release part, we have the um, wonderful IG-11 and the child uh, back then as a um, screen print. And these beautiful pieces are by Melvin Magoo, and we just talked about them on the, uh, on the, sh- on the headliner in the first part of the show. So go back there if you just want comfort, came for release parts and you really love this one, check it out. Definitely worth it. Melvin is such a class guy, and um, yeah, it's a really, really great piece. Um, then we have some more uh, bottleneck releases, and we have this wonderful getting back, was only the beginning, Back to the Future, um, part two, teaser poster, there's two different versions we have of these ones, uh, really, really cool, love the Japanese titles for it, um, sucker for those definitely, it's an offset lithograph with spot inks, and it's 24 by 36 inches, both editions were available 175 times, and it's a co-release with Vice Press. And about Vice Press, we're going to talk a little bit later because they had also a very cool release, but more on that um, in a couple of minutes. Um, then we had some Alice Zhang releases, and she put up this beautiful, married, it's called Married Life for the movie Up, obviously. It's a G. Clay print, 24 by 18 inches. It's a hand number edition of 150. It's a co-release with Island Prints, and uh, it's officially licensed by Artland Publishing and Disney. Really cool piece, catching the vibe of this, of this intimate story. We just, like, get a glimpse of it like um, what, it, what it is like and um, how much it meant to, um, to the main character. And that's, I think, a really, really cool, um, warm feeling kind of portray I really like. And yeah, I was saying she's going to show up also a little bit later. Again, <clears throat> then we have one of the hottest shows out right now, Queen's Gambit. It's called A World in 64 Squares. And it's by Sam Gilby and Sam Gilby, Poster Posse member. Shout out to you, buddy. Always doing some great stuff. Uh, the G Clay print is 18 by 24. It's a hand numbered edition of 100. And yeah, everybody's cranking our great pieces for this one. But yeah, this one in particular looks really cool. Love the, the, the portrait in the background. He like looks just incredible. And putting the chessboard on top until a joy great great show um and uh, great prints uh, of, 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 uh, out out there and yeah this one in particular loving it sam great job another uh, poster policy member did 
another Batman piece, and it's The Court of Owls by Chris Skinner. Skinner. It's also screen pin, print. I can't talk today. Screen print, and it's 18 by 24 inches as well. And um, yeah, this is um, also a hand numbered edition of 100. And Court of Owls, definitely one of the best Batman um, Batman uh, storylines. And yeah, artwork looks amazing. Love the 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 clash of the. Uh, of the warriors in that in, in that kind of scenario, having the, the the court watching like a like this kind of tournament style, uh, and yeah, it's look looking down on Gotham City, and it's like really really cool to see. Great stuff by Chris. He knows he knows his he knows stuff. He has been doing some great great pieces, and yeah, loving this one definitely. Um, the next one is one of my favorite TV shows, and it's Atlanta. I can't wait for next season to come out. Don Glover, genius. Uh, yeah, I love all the characters in it. Love this beautiful piece with the with the couch, obviously, and looking looking at Atlanta. And this piece is by Ryan Burns, an uh, artist I, I haven't heard before. Um, and yeah, this is a G, G Clay print. It's 11 by 17 inches, hand numbered edition of 100. And all the money uh, or the proceeds from this... Um, from this print will go to the ACLU of Georgia. So it's definitely worth it to look into that. Um, then we have um, a different kind of Blade Runner print. Loving this one. This one's already sold out. There's a there's a variant version which is not. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you a second here. But this print is uh, um, the by Paul Harrison Davies, and it's also a G Clay print, 18 by 24 inches. It's a hand numbered edition of 50. And then we have the variant in black and white, also looking great. Um, still available, as I mentioned. Uh, also available 50 times, so check in on that. But I have to say, yeah, definitely the. I, I would also go for the for the regular version. The color is just are perfect and like the neon lights and like this this kind of playful look really digging it and yeah so cool job by ryan uh by sorry by paul harrison davies uh check him out um if you want to see more art of this uh artist and last week i forgot to look into that and it was um or to mention this one and it's the turtle power by Brian Reedy. It's, it's a linocut cut print, a locked up paper with hand tackled edges, 20 by 30 inches, signed and hand number edition of 150. Yeah, looking really cool. Loving, loving the um, uh, uh, this little detail here and looking at the turtle. It's like all like April in there. Uh, Crank, Shredder, uh, Shredder uh, Mass Splinter, uh, Rocksteady, Bebop, the Foot Soul, the, 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 was it the Foot Gang? Foot Gang? I think it was Foot Gang. <laughs> been been a while since I watched that, and many other cool like little details. So definitely um, cool to check it out. Love that print. I think it's sold out, so <laughs> people have to look in the aftermarket. But yeah, Lino Lino cuts are uh, getting more popular, I think. And yeah, as I mentioned before, Alice Zhang is going to be back for another um, Mando Monday, and uh, this is the journey ahead, seeing the child and uh, uh, Din there uh, with his gun. It's a fine Archie Clay, 13 by, four, uh, 13 by 19 inches, and it's a hand number edition of two, 250. And some more Mando is by, uh, yeah, Juan Ramos, uh, such, a, such a good dude. Uh, we had the interview, so check that out if you haven't already. And uh, this, is the, this is called New Horizon, as I said, screen print, 18 by 36 inches, hand number edition of 250. Got the, got the, um, got the mud horn uh, skull on here. Got him, got, got, got him sleeping. It's so cute, loving this. And yeah, I got the little emblem here. And yeah, the Mando looking out into, into the sunset, basically riding into the sunset with the, with the child, loving it. Really, really cool piece. And uh, last year for season one of the Mandalorian, Dave Perillo did some couple uh, or a couple of different kind of chapter posters. The poster posse did some really cool ones. So if you haven't seen those, definitely worth checking out with some very cool artists. And yeah, he continued this um, his 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 chapter pieces, and this is for episode four, the sanctuary, and um, it's a screen print, eighteen by twelve inches, hand number edition of two hundred, and you can get them as a set as well uh, because it goes also with number five, and number five is uh, this piece here. It's the gunslinger, 
got all the elements in, love the banther here in the background. Yeah, that's some really cool stuff. Dave Perlo, um, definitely different style. I got a couple pieces by him. Yeah, definitely worth having this in your home if you are a Mando fan. Also, size-wise, it's a little smaller, so that's kind of good to have, you know, with the smaller size. So um, putting it up on the wall, but basically multiple pieces. Um, yeah, cutting back to Vice Press, uh, we talked about um, the Back to the Future prints because there is one Vice Press uh, only release, and it's this wonderful piece. It's an um, it's a, the Back to the Future DeLorean series by Rodrigo Barraza. And it's an A3 in size, which is 11.7 times 16.5 inches. Um, it's an open edition. I think I mentioned that. And uh, it's a lithograph print. And it's produced under, uh, under license from Universal Studios. So that's very cool to see. And uh, they have a 20-pound price uh, point each and also a 55-pound a price on the set. Loving what Rodrigo is doing. He's a very good dude. Um, and if you if you have anything to do with uh, like kind of model uh, models in terms of like presenting them, uh, he is the man to go to and uh, check check him out. He he also does commissions. Uh, definitely worth looking into that. Um, on top of that, we have the uh, recycled notebooks. There's always a pack of two, 48 pages, A5 notebooks. 90 uh, where, uh, grams per square meter, white lined, and 90 grams per square meter, white plain. Stamped belly band made from an unused print. Orders of three or more notebooks will receive a pack of A6 notebooks while stocks last. And five pounds, a pack of two. Can't go wrong with these. It's recycled prints, people. Definitely, definitely worth um, having some if they are still available. And then um, one of the pieces, I just want to go through them real quick because you can watch on uh, the Vice Press um, open channel YouTube channel <laughs> or uh, uh, listen to it on a podcast because we talked, uh, Matt, that is Matt, uh, James Hanshaw and Flory, we talked about the new releases for the John Carpenter series they did. Definitely, definitely a very, very much uh, uh, very cool stuff and um, we had a lot of fun so definitely check into that it's definitely um, a good thing to see uh, so here I'm going to go through them real quick uh, they come with coins collectible coins for each series uh, you can see um, the, the the different kind of the different side of the coin uh, for escape from New York then there we have some escape from New York pins by Flory really cool stuff and then we have obviously the print by Matt Ferguson can't go wrong with Snake Plissken, I'd say. And um, as we speak, they might probably so be sold out, so definitely check into that. Um, then we have uh, the Prince of Darkness here. Coins, looks amazing. Got like the little cutout here, as you can see. And then we have the print combo of the title and <laughs> the obvious, most obvious uh, thing from the movie, which is also incorporated here in the print, which looks amazing uh, in this form. Um, then we have The Fog, uh, the choices for the Elizabeth Stane and uh, uh, Antonio uh, Bay there, um, definitely very cool. Having the pins, which look really cool as well. Having the Six Must Die in there and uh, the, the um, lab labyrinths coming out there uh, out of the fog there, looking really cool. Got the print here as well by Matt, um, just amazing. Yeah, but not going to keep you long people so ch definitely check out the long version because we're going to go into detail there talk about talk a lot about carpenter and it's really fun they live also looking very cool got the obey on the back here um got the print uh looking awesome 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 love the sunglasses and the consume uh, consume really really cool but the print is definitely i think my favorite from uh, uh snake Plissken is also the, the escape from new york is also good choice here but they live, the colors are like popping, so definitely something you should look into. And yeah, I got all, all your favorite stuff here in the background and uh, the, the um, pins that definitely go with them. So check that out. It's um, some really cool stuff by Vice Press. And if you have a chance, grab one of the pieces or grab uh, definitely one of the, the Lawrence as their open edition. And yeah, they look amazing. So definitely, definitely something to look into. Um, then we have some more stuff, which is uh, by Mondo. 
this time, and it's the Undertaker series. And this is the Undertaker G Clay poster. It's by Randy Ortiz. It's 12 inches by 16 inches, an edition of 125, printed by Static Medium. You can definitely see his style in there, I think. And uh, yeah, that's some cool stuff. I mean, for all the wrestling fans out there, definitely something uh, to enjoy. But this is not all. We also have a uh, Bury Alive, The Undertaker vs. Mankind screen print by uh, Matt Ryan Tobin. Matt has been on the podcast. He's a very good guy as well. Check it, check it out. We talked about The Crow um, having kind of similar vibe there. And uh, yeah, looks incredible. But my favorite is the variant. Um, th this one is 24 by 36 inches and uh, it's available or was available 200 times and print by DL Screen Printing, and the variant is my favorite uh, in this case, and the variant has had been available 100 times. And yeah, uh, two weeks ago we had the Muragaya, um, the, the, the uh, Clockwork Orange print for that, and uh, today we bring you another Kubrick, which is 2001 Space Odyssey, also by Muragaya, also incredible style, Looks amazing, got all the cool elements in, and very Kubrick, I have to say. And yeah, the ultimate trip says it in the top corner there, so that looks very cool. And then we have, uh, again, a variant version with uh, with the lettering, with the, the terminal lettering, I think it was. And yeah, looking amazing. And these are also 24 by 36 inches, printed by, uh, by DL Screen Printing, and um, the regular was available 250 times, and... The variant here in this case was available 125 times. But then my favorite of uh, the Kubrick releases is this one here. And it's a Clockwork Orange again. But oh my god, this looks good. It is by uh, none other, as I probably can see by the style. It's uh, We Buy Your Kids, uh, Sonny and Biddy. Very cool people. Can't wait to talk to them uh, on the podcast. It's um, also a screen print by DL Screen Printing, 12 by 36 inches, an edition of 275. Definitely worth getting this one. Looks so, so cool. And then we have uh, some old friends back again. Uh, the, the Phantom City Creative is back with the animated uh, Batman the Animated Series. And this one is very cool with the Braille. Loving the Braille on there. Uh, uh, Batman the Animated Series, Blind as a Bat episode poster, um, 18 by 24 inches, edition of 225, printed by DL Screen Printing. Looks so, so cool. Loving this one. Um, then we have uh, this episode, Gotham Jr. Detective Tales. I've got Batman in my basement. Got the penguin up there. Got Batman laying down on his back. Also 18 by 24 inches, uh, an edition of 200. And then we have the variant which is the same size, which looks even cooler. I think more, um, more uh, like older and or archaic in that kind of way. I like I like the look of the uh, the variant edition um, a lot, and it's been uh, available hundred times. And then the last print in that series for for this time is uh, Appointment in Crime Alley, and. Um, this has also been available 200 times. The regular edition, I love the regular edition. Looks very good with the black and white. Loving it. And um, then there is the kind of night nightly edition with the blue. Looks also cool, but I think I have to go for the regular in this one. And uh, last but not least, we have the Moore Art Gallery with two releases that we need to talk about. And first off, we have this wonderful Matt Griffin piece. It's a hand number edition, a uh, limited edition of two, uh, 125. It's an offset lithograph print on uncoated 300 gram per square meter paper. Dimensions are A2, 16.5 by 23.4 inches. War of the Worlds, oh, it just looks so incredible. Loving this piece. And um, yeah, this is, uh, this is still available, people. So don't sleep on that. Matt Griffin, very talented uh, artist. He brought us um, the, the Dune series last time, which looked amazing. But also this piece looks very, very good. So definitely something you should get because you still can get it, people. And um, which you can get like, like an ultimate amount, uh, like an unlimited amount of time, which is uh, this one. It's the variant. I think in my opinion, the variant looks even cooler. Love the, love the purple and like the red colors in there for War of the Worlds. And this is an open edition. Uh, it's a fine art pigment print on Mohawk Superfine 270 
grams per square meter archival um, paper. And this is an A3 size, which is 11.7 11 uh, 11 inches times 16.5 inches. So also very cool stuff. Definitely something to look into. Um, I think people will definitely like it. And then last but not least, um, the, the last print by Nan Lawson. We had her also last week and she did something for more Art Kelly, which is uh, an open edition. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. The, the, the first one is the um, hand numbered limited edition of 35 only. I think there's still there's still some available, and there are a fine Archie clay print on Hannemühle photo rag 308 um, grams per square meter with archival inks, 16 by 20 uh, inches, which is about 40 times 50 centimeters, and it has a white border included. Oh, maybe I maybe I pulled up the wrong one. I think this, this is the one, the white border. I'm sorry. So this is the limited one. And then we have the open edition, which is basically the same one without the border. And uh, this is a fine art pigment print again on Mohawk super fine archival paper. And um, it's 12 by 16 inches. Also, there's also a border included. So maybe I'm not, I wasn't wrong. Who knows? But uh, yeah, so those are very cool prints. Um, Alice in Wonderland, love the, the design for that. And the, the, this kind of book um, book series, uh, the, the more art gallery is doing, loving it. I got, I got, some, I got some cool stuff. I got